Well, how's it going, folks? Welcome back to another catch cooking camp video, if you want to call it that. I feel like that term's been done to death, but that's what we're going to be doing out here today. Catch, cook, and camp. I'm at a mountain that I'm not too familiar with, but it uh, sure is beautiful. And I've actually been exploring for the past couple hours, just driving around on some of these dirt roads, looking for lakes, places to fish, places to camp. And I've found this nice little area right here. I plan on spending... I'm still not sure whether I want to spend one or two nights out here or maybe one night here and then go somewhere else. I'm not really sure, but for tonight, this is where we're going to be. I actually already went fishing today. That's the main reason we're up here. While I was exploring, I just came across this lake, thought I'd give it a try, and here's what happened. So yeah, I didn't catch anything, but we might go fishing a little bit later today. But for now, the wind is pretty bad. Funny thing is, We've had great weather, especially in the valley. We've been getting 60, 65 degree days. And then all of a sudden, the day I decide to come camping, for the next three days, it only gets above freezing once, and that's today. So for the next two days, the high is gonna be 31 degrees, and uh, it's supposed to snow. And let me tell you, it is pretty chilly out here. So for now, we're gonna do what we always do. We're gonna get camp set up build us a little fire, and then we might go out fishing a little later today. So I was actually planning on just sleeping in the bed of my truck, just rolling out a little mattress and sleeping there. But since it is gonna be so cold, especially tonight, we might even get into single digits. I'm not really sure, but I just know it's gonna be cold. So I bagged that idea and I brought the old tent again. This looks like a good spot, just right in the middle of this little roundabout. This is probably the flattest area. All right. And there we have it, guys. Tent is all set up. There we go. Looking a little dirty from the last camping trip, but we should be fine. Now, I think we need to get some firewood because this is all the firewood I have right here. And uh, that's okay, because it looks like we got plenty of firewood around here. I mean, we got all that stuff, we got a lot of dry stuff. It's still kind of wet out here, but it should be dry enough to burn. Yeah. So in case you guys are unfamiliar, this here is a ponderosa pine. And I have been told that they smell like pumpkin pie or something like that. I don't know who came up with that because I can't smell anything. I've got all my wood stacked up right there. We're gonna try to keep a neat and tidy fireplace, all orderly. And guys, check this out. We got a little stump here. It looks like somebody chopped down as like a table or something. Whew. This is a perfect, perfect table. We can use this to like prepare our food on and cut stuff on, I don't even know, but that's sweet. Got a bunch of pine needles right here. I don't know how well those will burn, but I figure they'll burn pretty good. So I'm actually gonna make a tin foil dinner. If you guys don't know what that is, I'll show you guys in a second. But what we want is just a nice hot bed of coals. Um, we don't want a big fire, but I wanna build it up, let it burn down, and then have just have a ton of hot coals. Get our ingredients out here. All right guys, so like I said, we're making tinfoil dinners or hobo dinners as some people call them. Basically, if you were ever in scouts, you pretty much know what these are. Simple combination of ground beef, carrots, onion, potato, all wrapped in aluminum foil, setting them in the fire. So simple to make an idiot could do it, which is why I'm making it here. Grab a potato, slice some potatoes in here. With the carrots and the potatoes, you wanna get really, really small because those are gonna take the longest to cook. Just like this. Make sure I don't cut myself. 
which at some point in this trip, I will uh, either cut myself, hook myself, something. Blood will be drawn. Next up is some carrots. And since we are not rabbits, we will only put a few. Another key element, onion. And now for the main ingredient. Got some ground beef that I uh, de-thawed overnight. Oh, it's still, it's still kind of frozen in the middle. We're good. And then for the last step, you guys, we have here some cream of chicken. Last time I made tinfoil dinners, um, at least on a video, I didn't add this. And uh, then I actually went camping with my cousins and we made these and we added this cream of chicken. And oh my gosh, let me tell you, it makes the whole thing five times better. <whistles> oh, that's appetizing. Now with this, you want to like double, triple and quadruple wrap it. Tin foil can take a lot of heat, but we want to make sure the fire doesn't burn a hole clear through. And that there is how you make a hobo dinner. It's probably going to take about an hour or so to cook. Uh, we still do not have nearly enough coals on our fire. We're working on it though. We'll just set it right here for now. Um, it's definitely in the heat, but hopefully we can get some more coals. Had to put on a warmer jacket because it's getting pretty chilly out here. Anyone who is in scouts um, back when they were like, you know, 12, 13, 14 remembers the trips you took with your friends. We did like 50 mile canoeing trips um, and hiking trips. Then at the end of the day, we just sit around the fire like this, make tinfoil dinners a lot of times. And then at night when you all get in the tent, you weren't, you weren't tired at all, you know? So we'd be up at like, you know, two, three, four in the morning. Anything we said, you guys know how it is. I'm sure everybody um, who's gone camping with their friends knows how it is when it doesn't matter what you say, it's just the most hilarious thing you've ever heard of, you know? Meanwhile, our scout leaders are yelling us to shut the bleep up from the tent over. Good, good times, really good times. All right, folks, so we got a nice bed of coals. It all burned down. Oh, look at that. That is just what you want right there. All right. Now we'll set it right on there. I can hear it bubbling and sizzling in there. Flip it over. We'll give this side about 30 minutes, and I think we'll be good. All right, guys, I think it is done. Oh yeah, yep, that looks done to me. That is done right there. As you can see, the carrots are cooked all the way through. And if the carrots are cooked all the way through, that means it's done. Shout out to my bro, Alex, for getting me this little uh, spatula, little bass spatula. It's gonna come in handy today. Oh, then we also got some barbecue sauce here, devil spit. You know it's good when it literally says for adults only. Just gonna add a little bit of that right on top. That barbecue sauce is a little hotter than I remember. Dang, this is so good. It's fishing time. We got about an hour hour and a half maybe of daylight. I think I'm gonna go with a little domino lure here. It's actually called a Jake Spinner lure. It looks just like a domino. These are legitimately some of the roughest roads I've ever been on. Like this is crazy. Looks like we got some deer. <sighs> All right, guys, let's catch some fish. 
Another thing, like I said, I have no idea about the fishing at these lakes, at least these ones. So I have no idea what's in here. Definitely trout, but I don't know if it's brook, brown, tiger, bow, splate, cutthroat. I have no idea. First cast of this lake, at least. Some lakes, they just can't hold fish year round. They're too shallow. I mean, when the ice comes on, there's not a lot of oxygen, not a lot of depth for the fish to uh, move around at, so a lot of them die. But with the deeper lakes, they'll survive. I don't know how deep this lake is. By the looks of the landscape just around here, it doesn't look too deep. So there might be some holdover fish, or there might be some naturally reproducing brook trout in here. I don't know. Guys, what do we have here? I hear some water moving. Look at this. We got a little creek right here. I bet you there's at least, if there's any fish in this lake, I bet you there's there's a few right here. Let's try it. Right in the moving water. Huh, nothing right here. That's kind of surprising, but we press on. What the heck? We hooked a some moss or something. Thought it was a fish for a second. All right, so looks like we got some some kind of seaweed. But if there's seaweed, that usually means that there's water in here year round. And if there's water in here year round and it doesn't get drained, that usually means there's fish. So that's actually kind of a good sign. Oh, guys, fish, fish just jumped right there. Fish just jumped right there. Fish confirmed, oh my gosh. Okay, cast it right where it just jumped. Big jump, right by shore too. That feels so good to know that there's fish in here. There we go, there we go, there we go. We are hooked up, baby. Feels like a nice one too. Feels like a pretty decent one. Or I don't, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. What is that? What is, Oh, sweet, guys, it's a brookie. It's a brookie, my target species for this trip. It has been a minute since I've caught a brook trout. Yes, sweet, check that out, folks. Just lift them up here. Gorgeous fish, look at that. Honestly, one of the prettiest fish you'll ever find. Salt and fresh water, at least in my opinion. How about that, guys? Come to a brand new lake, know nothing about and we catch a fish, beautiful little brook trout. We're, we're definitely gonna keep some fish on this trip, just uh, not this guy. Oh my gosh, that water is freezing. There he goes, bye bye buddy. That water is probably 33 degrees. I mean, some of the other lakes I drove by still had ice on them and they were just melting. But dang, that water, whew, it's pretty icy. There we go, there we go, there we go. Another one. Boom, right there by shore, baby. What do we got here? Another brookie. Another brookie. Look at that, another beauty. Looks like they're all about the same size. There might be some lunkers down there, but sweet. Bye bye, bud. There we go, folks. We got another one. I had to turn the camera off just to conserve some battery, but we got another one hooked up here. The heck, this one looks different. Oh, no way! Guys, this is what I'm talking about. Second species, look at this. Or wait, what is this? Is this a splake or a brook? Okay, this just might be a brook. Maybe just a real pale brook trout. I thought it was a splake because uh, it had some gray colors, but uh, I think it's just a brook trout. This is so much fun. See you later, buddy. Well, guys, that's gonna have to do it for tonight. I want to just stay and fish till dark, but I got to get back before it gets dark. So I will be back here tomorrow, but it's time to get back to camp. I'm getting cold. Well guys, I'm back here at camp. I actually moved the tent just right here by the fire because I wanted everything to be in one little area. Got the fire, the tent, and the truck just all right here. I do hope it doesn't snow tonight. I mean, I, I think it's supposed to snow tomorrow, and I did see some pretty mean clouds on the horizon earlier. So hopefully it don't wake up to any snow, but if it does, 
it is what it is and we'll roll with the punches. We got all day tomorrow. I got no plans, so it's gonna be a fun time. But for now, I'm just gonna lay back, relax. Hope you guys enjoy day number one and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Well guys, good morning. Yep, it is snowing and it is coming down pretty hard. So here's the deal. I don't wanna get stuck up here. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna pack up camp, head back down the mountain. We're not done fishing today. We're gonna find somewhere else, camp another night. But for now, we're gonna have to pack up camp and uh, get out of here. All right, folks, let's get out of here. Well folks, I know what you're thinking. Where did all the snow go? It's actually a few days later. I had to leave when that snowstorm came in. I came right back up as soon as the snow melted. I was actually just gonna wake up, pretend like nothing ever happened and it never snowed, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So that's what happened. It snowed, I had to leave the mountain. But here we are two days later. We are gonna pick up where we left off. It's noon right now. I'm not gonna waste any time. We're going fishing right now. The only difference, is this time I'm gonna hike up to the lake instead of driving because guys, that road was crazy rough and don't don't you get started on, oh, it's because it's a Chevy. No, no, shut up. All I'm saying is it's not a very long hike up to that lake and I would rather just walk the half mile than put my truck through that crazy rough road driving over boulders. It can make it. I just don't wanna replace another transmission. I already blew one up last year. Got my backpack got my catch and cook stuff should probably grab my fishing pole that, that's uh that's pretty essential ah, we're off folks let's go fishing we made it well folks you cannot make this up let me tell you what happened got my rod right here as you can see snapped right in half i get to the lake and first cast, take a look at what happened. Freaking out of the blue, guys. I just literally cast it and it snaps. Like I didn't hit anything or I don't know. Something had to have like crushed it without me knowing. So that put an end to our little fishing session pretty quick there. Had to walk the mile in, walk the mile back didn't even get a chance to cast. But guys, that's okay because I do have a spare rod right here. Not my favorite, but it'll do the job. And it's our only option. So I've built up a little rock wall structure right here to kind of block the wind out. You know guys, it was actually pretty warm earlier today. I mean, you guys saw I was just wearing a t-shirt, but in the past hour, just since the sun has gone from there to there, ooh, it has gotten like really cold. Like, it's probably dropped 10 or 15 degrees. Hopefully we don't have another storm coming. That'd be my luck. Got plenty of firewood that I gathered earlier today. Hopefully this will uh, sustain us through the night. I think it will, depending on how cold it is. We are going to attempt to make cinnamon rolls, but I'm not just gonna like fry these up on a frying pan. No, that's not gonna work. I've got these two cast iron frying pans and I'm gonna try to just set them in there and then close them in like this right on top of each other and bury them in a hot bed of coals. I mean, if you think about it, that's all an oven is. The trick is to get heat from all sides of the frying pan to bake these cinnamon rolls and have them rise and cook evenly. I've never tried this before. I don't know if it's gonna work, but there's only one way to find out. Uh, it's 
start here. Oh, missed it by that much. I've been dethawing these all morning. They've been frozen. So there we have our icing. It ain't rocket science, I guess. Just go ahead and put a couple in there. Oh, one more right in the middle there. What I'm gonna have to do so they don't stick to the bottom of the pan, I'm gonna have to get some butter, put it on here. Just stick this butter over the fire, try to heat it up. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer these over. Totally forgot about the uh, butter on the bottom of the pan. Gotta make sure they don't stick. All right. Ugh. Add some more wood on the fire. There we go. And here's a little trick that I learned. You stick your hand just above the coals. One. All right, so that was about three seconds. If you can stick your hand over the coals for like three seconds, that means it's like 375, 375 degrees or something like that. I'm not totally sure, but it's a good temperature. So, all right, so I have here this metal grate. I'm just gonna stick right on there. And then we have our cinnamon rolls looking good. I'm gonna seal it up, make sure there's no cracks. Then we're gonna set it right over top. And we're also gonna grab some of these coals, red hot, and set them on top. I mean, this isn't like cooking a fish. You gotta have heat coming from all directions, from the bottom and the top. Just gotta make sure it stays hot underneath. So, I'm getting a little bit worried. Can you guys see that? That is the look of dark storm clouds. Ah, <laughs> fingers crossed, guys. We cannot get pushed out of here again. That would just really suck. All right guys, time to check it. Take our coals off here. Let's see how they're looking. Oh, folks, look at that. Holy cow. Oh. Now the real question is, did they cook evenly? Did they cook on the bottom? They're perfectly fluffy on top and perfect on the bottom. We got the little uh, can of icing that was thawing out by the fire. Well guys, there we go. Get a good look at them because they're going to go quick. Mm. You got to have a good balance of crispiness and doughiness and flakiness. Got a slight crisp and then just so doughy and flaky in the middle. I don't want to be like on those cooking shows where you bite into something and you're like... But guys... <laughs> Alright folks, we are down at the lake and we're gonna try to catch some dinner before the sun goes down over there. I actually already caught a little fish right here. We got a nice little brook trout. Turns out the microphone for my GoPro wasn't plugged in, so I didn't get any audio on it. But that's okay. Hopefully you guys are going to be able to hear me with this wind noise. Hopefully it's not too bad, but let's catch another one. All right, so here's what I'm throwing. This little gold pot of gold spoon usually works really well for these trout and small lakes. Yep, the wind is still coming down. It hasn't really let up a whole lot. But wind is usually not a bad thing for fishing. It, it can actually be a good thing, so we'll see. There we go, there we go, there we go. There. Oh no! Woo! Oh, that felt like a good one. He hit it like a freight train. Dang it, dang it, dang it. All right, folks, well, I think we gotta give up the ghost. Missed a couple. I mean, had one hooked, but he got off. But before we go, we're gonna clean this fish out right here for dinner. 
Oh, look at that. We got some pink meat in there. That's going to be good. Mmm. Oh, that looks good, don't it? Fresh brook trout cooked in butter. This smoke has been terrible. I don't know if it's just me or what, but like I feel like some fires give off 50 times more smoke than others. This fire for some reason has been smoking me out. My eyes are like dead, but anyway folks, I'm gonna eat dinner, crawl in my tent. I know the fishing hasn't been great. We need to catch more fish, but the wind has kind of put a damper the past couple days. It's still blowing out here, but hopefully tomorrow it's a better day and we catch some toads. Fresh brook trout. Smells good with lemon pepper. And uh, yeah, just chill by the fire. Well folks, I'm going to bed. The wind is still howling out there. I don't know, hopefully tomorrow's a better day in terms of wind and fishing. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. Guys, I went through so much firewood last night, I had to get some more. I mean, I had it stacked to here and I used it all. But here we are, another beautiful morning. It's actually like uh, 9.30. I would have gotten up sooner, but it was so cold. That I just didn't want to get out of the tent. Like there was frost, I could see my breath. I just wanted to wait for it to warm up a little bit. This morning, we're gonna cook up some pancakes. Yep, that's right. Got some pancake batter in here. Add a little water. You know, it would be a lot easier with an actual mixing bowl, but I wanted to pack as light as possible. Just bring not very much stuff. So I've just got this little tiny mug. Guys, we scorched our pancake. Ah, we'll deal with it. Bacon and sausage is cooked up nice, but the pancake is a little worse for the wear. But I'm not picky. I mean, when you're camping, you can't expect everything to be perfect. And we have here some Marionberry syrup. I have no idea what a Marionberry is. Uh, sound, sounds like a berry, so that's good. Drizzle it all over, all over the sausage and the bacon too. See, it's just the top layer that's burned. Everything else is like cooked really nicely. Whatever a Marion berry is, folks, that's good. That is delicious. Well, here we are, folks. This is actually the first lake we came to on the first day where I didn't catch anything, but we're gonna give it another try. Guys, it was so cold last night that it froze over this little piece of open water right here. Well guys, no fish from the pond again. I don't really think there's any fish in there. I, you know, there probably is, but I don't know. I can't find them. So I'm gonna walk up this creek a little bit and uh, just see what I can see. Maybe there's some fish in this little creek. It's like somebody built a dam right here, diverted the water. As you can see up there, it just gets all icy and snowy. I doubt there's any fish in there. All right, well, let's go to the next lake. Well, here we are at that other lake that we've been catching fish at. I thought I had my camera rolling, but uh, I didn't, and I caught me a fish. I feel like the fishing content this video hasn't been great. It's either been too windy, I haven't had my microphone plugged in, or I wasn't even recording. We are gonna keep this guy, so we're gonna get him off the hook here, kill him. Look at that beautiful brookie. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Just knocked him out. Let's go wash him off here in the water. Fresh brook trout. Look how pretty those are though. I mean, just look at that. All right, we'll set him right here in the water for now so he stays fresh. 
and uh, let's try to get another one. See if I can actually have my camera recording. Oh, no, no, no. Oh my gosh. One came all the way up to shore and bit it. Ah, oh, I almost had him. There we go. Fish on. Number two. Oh, ho, ho. And yes, we got him. Woo. Oh, that's probably the same one. One followed me all the way in and bit like five feet from shore and he got off. Then next cast, I catch this dude. It's probably the same one. Beautiful, beautiful fish. So we're gonna keep these two probably and uh, then just keep fishing for fun. All right guys, it's time to cook our fish that we caught. Um, fishing was slow today. I fished for like an hour more and didn't get anything. But at least we got those two. Um, if you watch my videos, you've probably seen me cook with a bigger stove. It's a you know, big propane stove. Cooked a lot with it and I really liked it. It was just too big, too bulky to carry around in a backpack. I decided I had to upgrade or downsize. And I picked this little dude up at Ace Hardware. Just this little um, tiny stove top. I mean, look how tiny that is. That can literally fit in your pocket if you want. And uh, then we got for it a little canister of butane propane mix screw that on just like that turn this I got this pan at Walmart for like five less than five bucks along with some other tools like this little plate here so it's not the highest of quality but it gets the job done I'll pour in some water Ooh. Oh, oh gosh. We're gonna make fish and rice today. So I got this little bag of rice. We'll put in there. So we're gonna take our rice. We're gonna transfer it over to our plate here. This is actually our plate. So we're just gonna dump it on there put our pan back on we'll add some butter and then we have here our trout cut the head and the tail off so we could fit look at that meat beautiful beautiful set that guy in there all right so I actually had to cut the fish in half so it could fit a little bit better. Get rid of that skin. Gonna salt them up. Salt and pepper. There we go. Set our fish right on top of the rice. Mmm. It's always such a pleasant surprise when you cut open the trout and you see that bright orange meat. It's just amazing how much better it is. I don't know why. Guys, check this out. I was gonna put bass and trout was here, but I didn't wanna scavenge all those pine cones. But if anyone can come up here, find this spot, take a picture of that and send it to me and I don't know, I'll give you like a little reward or like some fishing lures or something like that. I will say it's not, it's just, the road's just right over there. So, I mean, you know, if any of you want to come try and find it, it's right here. Well, folks, Fire is out, camp is all cleaned up. Everything's all cleaned up and put away, made sure there's no trash. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Let me know if you wanna see more camping videos like this. I like the more longer form, uh, multiple day camping trips. It was a lot of fun to make. Fishing could have been better, but next time we're gonna explore some more lakes 
and uh, see if we can catch some more fish. But it was a great time nonetheless. And if you guys like this video, go down there, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, folks, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.